Good morning, everyone. We, during this conference, we heard a lot of, many, many times we heard a lot of such words like RDMA tool, resource tracking, and so on. So in this presentation, I will try to talk about why actually we, we, de, we did new tool, uh, what our solution, what our design goals, why we cannot, we will not be able to, to actually extend the existing, existing infrastructure. I will talk about communication between kernel and the user space. I will talk about kernel itself a little bit, very, very, very um, <coughs> not, not deep. And I will talk about RDMA tool itself, just present, present capabilities and, uh, uh, and different options which you can use right now already available as part of upstream, uh, up, upstream repositories and so on. So, First of all, at the end, there are many tools existing in, in RDMA subsystem, but no one is actually allows us, no, there is no open source tool which allows us to configure a different RDMA device in a very convenient manner. There are Mellon specific tools, which is part of Mellon software. I'm pretty sure there are uh, for Intel in, in the IF. As suit uh, tools uh, which you can configure them, but uh, very different. So we thought what it is will be very very uh, convenient for all our users to use one similar one one uh, simple tool like it uh, like it uh, uh, it is done now in IP in net the world. Another problem that all query existing query, query tools are actually doing CSFS query or verbs query, which is not bad, but it has limitation. Main limitation, it's, it's problem, problem with containers. And Parav talked about, about it in his container talk, but uh, how to actually solve it. Uh, another thing which we spotted what was, uh, what despite being now, I don't know how many years InfiniBand already exists and RDMA subsystem already exists, but still uh, we didn't have any, any visibility about which object exists, which objects were created by operating system, which objects were, were created by, by user application and uh, the cor correlation between them. Uh, and uh, last thing, we saw what, uh, what uh, <coughs> Uh, during uh, initial stages of new KBI review, what uh, uh, many drivers will provide something very, very, um, very different, and we will provide very different capabilities. And we would like to have possibility to query these different capabilities from one single tool in one single source format, so uh, different different parties and will uh, will provide uh, uh, the same information so at the end what are our design goals why uh, first of all i wrote it at, at, the, at the end but but it's very important to, to allow backward and forward compatibility we don't want to break anything uh, while we're introducing new thing uh, so it's it's despite being last it, it's important uh, we would like to have unified and very simplified configuration. I didn't, personally, I didn't like, uh, and I don't like any tools which provide, uh, which, give, which uh, uh, requires from users to provide a lot of options just to query, just to execute them. So uh, uh, I struggle, I've, I try to find uh, simplest possible interface what will work uh, without any any special magic uh, it our one of our design goals was we wanted to allow a, a both scripts and both uh, user to work with with these tools and with uh, different apis so it's also a design goal uh, 
again, able to perform. It's for me, maybe, may, it's, it's partially for, for me, right now it's partially for me for testing, but in the near future, it will be one of the main vehicles to all uh, IB device, persistent IB device renaming, IB device uh, uh, UDF and system uh, integration. Uh, it should be suitable for containers from day one and uh, without any, any, uh, any limitation of CSFS. And one of the important lessons which I learned from trying to push RDMA core into various distribution uh, is uh, what this tool should be a part of already existing distribution package so it will be directly accessible by our distribution without need to work with, uh, with various distribution uh, vendors, which is not, which is, was awesome experience, but it just took me too long to, to do it. Uh, so, conf so how actually we, we, saw, we tried to solve this, uh, this, uh, uh, this communication problem, because Instead of CSFS, we decided to use, we decided to use <coughs> Netlink. Netlink, at the end, it's very simple, uh, uh, in very simple manner, it's table, which provides two things. In every day, uh, attributes and data. If attributes doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't exist, uh, or, or, and, and the user space application should actually uh, read this table and and uh, work accordingly. By design, Netlink, uh, by Netlink design, once user space application, or maybe kernel, uh, encounters new field which it doesn't understand, Netlink attribute, she just should skip, uh, should skip. In this way, we can uh, actually achieving all backward and forward compatibility because kernel provides some new Netlink attributes which doesn't, which our, our DMA tool doesn't understand, and our DMA tool simply will ignore them and will continue to work, uh, and vice versa. <coughs> uh, more important, that uh, Netlink is actually, uh, provides a lot of bindings. Uh, it's already, you can use uh, this Netlink interface, when I'm saying Netlink interface, uh, it's actually communication between RDMA tool and kernel itself. Uh, but you can drop RDMA tool and re-implement it by yourself in your lovely language. So you can you choose Python, you can choose Go, you can choose C, C++. This is usually what is done in, uh, in large configurations uh, for IP. IP link is actually implemented also as a Netlink. And, uh, for example, OpenStack simply took uh, parts of IP link, uh, link code, re-implemented it in Python, and put it into, into the OpenStack distribution. So we actually implement, implement IP link without, without doing anything, uh, anything with, with CLI tool. The same goes for RDMA tool. It's possible, it's easy, and uh, I simply invite you to see RDMA tool as a simple CLI, simple user space, but reuse this new interface to actually do a lot of, a lot of more advanced stuff when, when our DMA tool presents. So this was communication between kernel and user, but uh, uh, as our solution, we decided to use, uh, we decided to use IP route two because at the end, our DMA, it's, it, it's similar, it's very similar to, to, to network. So like all network uh, tools are located in IP route to package, uh, we also choose, choose uh, to put it uh, and we, to put it there. Uh, being part of IP route, it follows the same, the same semantic of, of well-known IP, IP tool and uh, the same, the same, uh, object and the same, uh, the same command line interface. So if we are talking about kernel, and uh, kernel uh, was uh, uh, extended, renovated, and updated, uh, I'm talking about RDMA part of, of kernel, to actually support, support this uh, new functionality. 
First of all, uh, when user sends send Netlink messages, it goes into RDMA Netlink. And RDMA Netlink is responsible, uh, irresponsible to understand on which namespace we are working, uh, various checks. For example, if, if someone tries to write uh, data, it should perform, uh, perform checks to ensure that uh, uh, he has right capabilities and, uh, and so on. Uh, after RDMA Netlink, it pro uh, uh, once it verifies everything, it dispatch commands directly to, to uh, I, I, here it's written RDMA device proxy, but in source code it's called NLDEV, Netlink device. And Netlink device is responsible to understand uh, what actual data should be returned. It also did extra checks. For example, if we are working in Rocky, and Rocky has, and iWorp2 has a net device associated with it, we should ensure that we are returning net device only to, uh, only net device name, only to namespace which, is, which belongs to it and not for everyone, uh, and so on. Uh, Netlink device, actually, our device proxy is implemented like very, and very similar to ULP model. So it doesn't call directly to QPIS. It doesn't call directly to, to, to device. It uses in kernel interfaces to access it, so to perform, to, to ensure that everything is fine, no locks and so on. Uh, another thing which we added into, uh, into kernel, uh, it's called resource tracking. Uh, this functionality allows us to, to actually uh, count and to actually see which resources uh, were allocated. And when I talk, and when, when, uh, once I'm saying uh, resources, I'm, saying, I'm talking about objects which are visible to kernel uh, and which are passing through IB, IB core interfaces. Uh, right now, it's everything what uh, what is supported by uh, almost sorry it's not everything what is supported by by verbs like PDMR CQ and so on uh, and it's implemented per device so uh, there is no mix between between devices uh, in very near future uh, it will be moved to be per device per net namespaces so once rocky namespace con rocky containers work will will be finished we will also have uh, a device, uh, object and resources separated between between different namespaces. So uh, actually, it's implemented like uh, eight-bit hash and uh, uh, distributed equivalent and so on and so on. So it's very fast and efficient. Uh, when I said QP, we don't support all QPs right now. Uh, I, I'm not support, we are not supporting, sorry, we are not supporting uh, uh, in resource tracking XRC, XRC QP, but uh, one, one day probably I will send a patch that will fix it. So we talk about kernel part, and uh, this is the part of uh, which will resemble a little bit uh, uh, manual. Uh, Actually, RDMA tool is part of user space. Uh, being part of IP route tool allows us to use uh, uh, static compilation. To try it, all what you need is to, down, to clone uh, Git repository on your, uh, on your machine, compile, compile in place, don't need to install. You most probably will need to install some, live, some developer libraries, but uh, are, uh, not more than that. Uh, you can compile this IP route in place and run RDMA tool, which is located under RDMA folder, and it's called RDMA, uh, directly from in place. So uh, you don't need to wait, you don't uh, need to actually wait till distribution will update your will update your your package to try it. Actually, you can install and everything else, but but again, uh, being part of IP, being part of IP route, it's. It uses the same semantics. Semantics is name, uh, options. Options can be in placed in any in any place in command line. It does. It is not required to be at the beginning, like uh, like it's called in manual. Uh, object. 
and command on which we are on what 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 do we want to do on it on this command and after with properties for example we want to show the uh, object which we are, we are supporting right now it's device link and resource device it's actual device mlx5 he5 why i don't don't remember how it's called uh, link it's uh, it's the same as port port uh, in ibt methodology uh, but because this is part of uh, this is part of ip route i would i wanted to call it link to be sure and to preserve the same the same name convention and also i did i personally felt what uh, what uh, I, Port, it's something physical, and I wanted to ensure for ourselves possibility to use it, deny, uh, sorry, for maybe virtual link or virtual, virtual conversation. So actually, link, it's equal port and, and resource. Uh, one of the main options possible, uh, already existent. All, all what I'm saying, it's already upstream, accepted without any uh, you will not see any hidden features here, uh, and there is no hidden features right now. Right now, uh, there is minus b. Minus b option receive a batch file, uh, which again follows IP route format. All what you need is to provide text file. In uh, this text file, write your commands on uh, on on every new line, and it will execute. Uh, in consequence, because this command can fail, uh, we need minus f. Minus f, minus it, uh, this option will force and will not stop on error. Uh, another op good option and very important option is minus j. Minus j and minus p will produce output in JSON format. So you can directly, you can take output from RDMA tool and directly import into Python. I Python support direct import of JSON and work work with uh, with output of RDMA tool without any need to to do shell scripting or preprocessing. Minus p it's uh, it takes a JSON format and uh, uh, puts uh, extra spaces, uh, new lines, so it's a little bit more 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 handy, more easy to uh, to read. And minus d it, it's for sure detailed, detailed format. For example, we decided what flags we will prepare in RDMA tool, and because flags can be very, very large and a lot of information, usually you need to provide minus D to see this, this flags information. So as I said, a device, uh, if you, simple interface. So uh, as a simple interface, it did not provide any, any, any parameter, any device name, it will print on devices. You've provided specific device, it will print only device, device name. Uh, in link, it, it also the same. Uh, the, when link, it prints all devices all together with all their ports. ports. It supports different, different configuration. The one and uh, backslash, one it's actually device index. We introduce something called IB device index into uh, into our subsystem, which is very similar to, to net device index. And uh, after backspace, backslash, it's actual port number. Uh, and uh, the tool supports different, different options, execution for, for link. It can be written link and on the device name, it will print device name and, and it supports to all two ports for MLX4. And uh, you can uh, directly write on which port you want you want to exit to, to output to provide output. Uh, the difference between and the advantage of as I said that there is advantage between uh, of of Netlink. Uh, advantage if if tool experience new attribute which it doesn't understand uh, or uh, kernel simply didn't provide it, it it ignores it. So this com this the same command as, as before uh, on was produced over Rocky interface. In Rocky interface, we have net device, and it produced net device, net device output. All, uh, uh, all together with minus detailed option, uh, it provides also device index. So you can feed this device index into your IP IP link and see the same device index as net device. So actually, 
uh, using JSON format, Python, and so on. You can provide, you can, ex you can already do very, uh, very complex configuration schemes without uh, actually uh, any shell processing. For example, right here, do RDMA tool uh, in JSON format, receive your net device index, provide it directly to, to, our, to IP config, and uh, from that IP config will do will continue to do, to do his, his work. So another option, as I said, we added resource tracking. Resource tracking uh, in an RDMA tool in resource tracking, I'm, here you see what I brought, uh, simplified version. I didn't write a resource RDMA uh, space resource. IP route and all the packages in IP route supports uh, providing uh, short names for uh, for their object, so you don't need to actually write. You can need, you can write only part of part of a command, and it will be understand. So I'm simply for myself and for for manual using rest without and not uh, not writing anything rest. Uh, it prints it prints uh, without any parameters. It sim simplifies statistics how many resources already allocated in. Uh, in more detailed, in more detailed information, if we want to get QP, we we simply write show QP. All almost, sorry, all objects are supporting different filter options, and we have two type of 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 filters. First of all, it's numeric, and second, it's string options. While numeric can receive ranges and commas. To, to simply simply show uh, exact, uh, exact 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 number. For example, here we I would like to to see uh, all PIDs from zero to one hundred and six hundred. And you can mix. You can write zero, one hundred, six hundred, peak, uh, oh, sorry, a comma seven hundred or something like that. Uh, and the second type of filters it filters with strings. It is separated by by comma. Uh, just for user for, for better user experience, I decided to, uh, to avoid case to be case sensitive. So if you like to write in camel case, you feel free to continue. Uh, the output you can see what it provides. Who actually created this resource? If you see PID zero, it's usually kernel. Uh, but else it provides PID, it provides com, it's common name. Uh, uh, I used the same semantics as I have on PS, uh, as, P, as, my, as PS on my system pre presents. When uh, kernel, when PS presents something from kernel, it presents uh, with brackets. So here you can see uh, that IBR, uh, RC ping pong is without brackets, so it, can, it is not kernel. And also, it has PID, and uh, our cube has P, is were created by kernel. Uh, MR, PD, uh, CQ, and there is a difference between CQ. For example, you can see here the difference between CQ and CM uh, and CMID. CQ it's actually generated on device, so we are beginning. Uh, uh, Pointing what it's created on device MLX5, but CMID it's actually created on on uh, on on ports, on links. So we are outputting everything in uh, link format. Uh, source, destination, address, ports, everything, everything, everything can be can be filtered. Uh, this is simple for manual. Uh, different different filter options which we are supporting. Uh, we cannot conclude this session without futures. Uh, we definitely want, we definitely want uh, uh, convert RDMA core to use Netlink, and we will use Netlink, this Netlink infrastructure, as a way to for discovery, as a way for for configuration, as a way to to communication. I still didn't forget my promise to to add the option for RDMA tool to allow a uh, configuration of the soft Rocky, soft iVarp. I just didn't have time to do it. Uh, 
we also need uh, to continue towards containers, despite the fact that uh, RDMA tool is already container safe and also user uh, kernel part of, of resource tracking and so on, almost container safe. Uh, we, right now we, we implemented only query options, but we definitely will implement set options, it's just a matter of time. And uh, Steve, who made uh, a great job uh, to, to allow us different options uh, be, be beyond uh, QP, uh, continues, to continues to work on, uh, on vendor-specific parameters and vendor-specific uh, information which will be provided out, to, out of this tool. Questions? Right. There is two, two, two different types. There is do it, call, do it callback and dump it callback. When you are calling dump it callback, callback dump it callback is responsible to re enter into, your, into itself and reallocate buffer and uh, to, to, to create it. We do ensure right now that our messages doesn't cross our single message doesn't cross uh, netlink, uh, one netlink message size, which is 8K. Uh, but if you if you dump it, needs to send sim uh, many messages, it will simply re-enter itself. In do it, yes, you need to implement uh, internally in our DMA netlink in uh, additional infrastructure, which will allow you to, to actually separate and uh, resend, resend buffer. For example, uh, devlink, Net core part of DevLink it implements it for, for its table for its tables management, so it's doable. We just don't need it right now. Did it answer? Yeah. No? So, if uh, concerning uh, resources, are there any plans to also report like the number of resources? So, Q pairs. I've I've used thirty two of a thousand or. A million Q pairs, or is, or do you think that's not appropriate for this tool? Number of Q pairs? Yeah, the number of supported, not the number in use. Number of supported, it's uh, different, Max. Uh, something what you you you, you already um, uh, see in uh, IBV Dev Info. Right, but that's during, queried through a different mechanism, I, right? Uh, so. During du during my first submission, I really wanted to maybe I'm not sure. Uh, in, in uh, simple resource information to provide also maximum, to, to present utilization. Right, I but was thinking, uh, I was looking at that slide in particular, it would be like yeah. you know, QPair four slash a million. I simply, I simply didn't find a, a simple way how to deal with containers, because in containers, uh, what, should I pref what should I return? Should I return max QP of all device? Should I return max QP of this uh, specific device per container? So for this specific information, I simply decided to, to wait till, till the conversion container and what is container okay. before, before actually doing it. Yeah, I uh, think it should so be. So it, it, yeah. it is useful. It, utilization is useful. But it's unclear how to present it uh, in containers okay. more. Fair enough. But I think we should do it for containers and VMs. So you, if you have a, if you're splitting your resources that way. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as I said, uh, resource tracking right now it's allocated on IB device, uh, but actually in very near future, I already have half baked page. Uh, it will be moved to per device per net namespaces. So right. all cube is, for example, allocated in different, uh, uh, all resources allocated in different containers will be seen as a different resources. Right. Okay. Um, for IP over IB, currently it's sometimes difficult to correlate between the IP interface and the RDMA interface underneath. Um, it seems like you've got a nice opportunity here to bring those closer together. Can you talk about how maybe you could work that in? Yeah, it's a uh, it, it good remark. Uh, this NetDev uh, name, it's physical NetDev name. And because of IP, IP over IB, uh, we did... Uh, 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 set for ourselves option to, to provide also logical device name. And we will need to provide this logical device name, again, for containers. 
because containers will have different net device name, which will actually implement it as IP over IP device names, net device names. Okay, thank you. And the other question I have is, do you see this completely replacing some of the other tools, um, you know, all the way down to IBStat and stuff? Um, do you see those being deprecated over time? Uh, over time, long term, yes. I don't see any reason why we should keep uh, uh, different tools. But right now, I'm not, uh, I'm, I don't have a plan to compete against the whole world. So I'm trying to find a solution to the missing problem. Sorry, to, to the problem which uh, which miss, miss, miss solution. But really, in long run, in long run, yes, it will replace all these different IB stat, IB query, IB uh, all, all tools which are working on local host, on local device. I'm not. I have no plans to to extend the FRDMA tool to support uh, IB net discovery, for example, or something like that. It's out of the scope. So uh, I'm coming more from the uh, application side. Uh, one of the things that um, I always found uh, useful was to uh, something like top or uh, something that would tell me what is the kind of resource utilization happening at the NIC for uh, the caches. So for instance, if I'm using a lot of RCQ pairs, I have seen that after some point in time, the performance may degrade compared to using UD because of cache thrashing. So is there any uh, plan to extend this tool to provide that sort of information? Uh, my personal plan, first of all, is to, uh, to allow containers. So it's, <laughs> it's my ultimate goal. Uh, Long-standing goals, uh, it's, it's hard to say because sometimes it mixes uh, uh, vendor-specific and non-vendor-specific. For, for, for example, if it will uh, fail into vendor-specific information, it will be more, very easy to, to, to provide it by extension which Steve is, go is doing right now by simply allowing to attach uh, vendor specific information to already existing QP uh, objects. Sorry. For example, if QP will have something what only MLX5 knows about it, uh, we will be able to provide by without extending anything in user space by simply adding new line into, into the kernel. The same goes for, 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 for all over, uh, for all over uh, the Vendors, it's not some we, in, we are introducing general infrastructure to do it, but again, it really depends on on the actual uh, on the actual uh, information. Um, sure, uh, may, maybe I can take this offline with you. Thank you. Yeah.